What's going on everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how to install a PSP emulator on your Android car stereo. What a PSP emulator will do is let you install games on your car stereo. So let's get right into the video. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have, make sure you have um, Google Chrome and also WinRAR. WinRAR is what you're gonna use to unzip your file. And then you head over to coolrom.com.au. Once you're on coolrom.com.au, you wanna head to ROMs. Then you click on Play, Sony PlayStation Portable. Then you choose whatever game you wanna choose. Now the game that I'm gonna use today is gonna be Need for Speed Rival. So I'm gonna head over to the racing genre. Then, I'm going to download Need for Speed Rival. Now, it's going to download a little .exe file that you can see down here. You want to click on that. Then, it's going to pop up something on your screen. You want to just press yes. Then, this will pop up. You want to press next on this. Then, for the next step, you want to decline this. So if you do not see it downloading the ROM in the background, all you have to do is head on to your download folder, you double tap that, and you will see it here. So once this is finished, you wanna click on finish. Then you could press open. Then it'll point you to where this is. So what I wanna do, this is the file that they give you. So this file, I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna add it to a folder. Now, what you want to do with this file is you want to paste it in the folder. Then you're going to extract here. It's going to extract two files for you. Now, you don't need the dot readme, you don't need a readme file, and you no longer need this file. So now, what you should do is put this file in a games folder or a folder that you can remember. Once it's in that folder, you're all set. But also, there's another file that you need that's called PS2 Emulator for Android Platinum. I'll leave a link for that in the description or I'll just leave it in this folder. So for now, what I'm gonna do for all you guys, um, this folder, I'm gonna upload it to my Google Drive. That way, you can just download this game without going through all the hassle of going to cool ROMs and download it. There's only four games in this at the moment, but if you'd like, I could keep adding more games to it. So these are the two files, these are, these are the two folders that you need. Um, I'm gonna head to the car and we'll pick up from there. So now that we're in the car, I have the USB plugged in. Um, all you need to do is open up a file manager. If you don't have one, go to apkpure.com, type in ES File Explorer, download it and that would be one of the other ones that you have to install on your car but more than likely all cars should come with a file manager from the factory okay so let's get into the car um we're gonna open es file explorer once es file explorer is open we're gonna want to go to our hard drive and for me, I believe this one is mine. Mm, hello, da, da, da. okay, whatever. No, I don't want to update that now. Okay, so personal drive, that is mine. All right, so remember, I named that file called Car Games. I'm gonna open it. And in here is the APK that you need to install for the car's head unit. I have it installed already, so I'm not gonna reinstall it. I'm just gonna show you all the files that I've downloaded already and um, in here is all the games which is three games so far I mean four games so far all right so we have all of that so now we're gonna go back we're gonna launch this is what the icon for the emulator looks like so we're gonna launch the emulator and before I do anything else I'm gonna plug now I'm not gonna plug my controller in now because so what, what I'm gonna do uh, um, actually before I start anything else, I am gonna So now that the game is finished copying over, I'm gonna just take my hard drive out and I'm gonna plug my PS4 controller in. So now the PS4 controller is plugged in. So I'm gonna go back into PSP. 
And the only reason why I have to do it this way is because um, I only have one slot available for my, for my thing, right? So, in here, it's kind of tricky to navigate to your um, to your flash drive, but mine is already mine is already navigated to. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try go try to go all the way back, right? Um, yeah, and I'm sorry that this application, once you're connected to the internet, it do have a couple of ads, which are super annoying. So, what we're gonna do now is um, go to our SD card, then go to PSP, then go to games. Now, you're gonna see that it says the Gran Turismo logo and Need for Speed Rivals. We're gonna try Rivals and then I'll show you Gran Turismo right after. See a loading. So it says auto save. We're gonna press X on the controller yeah, for auto save. Yeah. And that's gonna show up. But I think I might mute the audio because I think the audio from this might get me copyrighted. So the first one they're gonna show us is an R34. Typical. Oh, wide body R34. I've seen that before. Alright, we're gonna press X off of this. Hopefully it give us some better graphics also. This graphic is terrible. I mean it's playable for like on the go and if you have like kids or whatever, they'll probably play it. I'm gonna leave my name as player one for now. And you know what? We're gonna do a legit. We're gonna put Starboy. Okay, so we got Starboy in there. Um what car do I wanna choose? Let me see. Uh you know what? JDM Life, RV Dub. You know what? Nah, I know what JDM. You know what JDM. Could never go wrong with a Miata, man. Right, so we're gonna race now because we're doing a quick thing. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to set the camera in here. So let me rig up something. Okay, so I've kind of set up the camera in here a little bit. Let me see what the audio is like. Okay, got some random ass audio for you. Um, Let's do the custom race. Uh, let's, let's do this one. Let's do one lap only. All right. Let's see what music I play. Okay. Oh. So one thing I forgot to tell you, um, if you're used to playing games, do not press the R2 button because I believe R2 fast forwards. So please don't do that. So it's extra drive and all the games. I don't know what those guys are doing. Yeah, like I said, I might get copyrighted, so let me turn that off. I don't know what they're doing, but it, it, it turns well. Everything works well. Um, for some reason, this game, the audio in this one is much better than Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo audio did not work at all. So yeah, this is Need for Speed, fellas. I told you, could never go wrong with a JDM car. Look at that lead that we got on everybody. That boosted V dub, getting no dub. And that's it so yeah like I said it all works fellas all of it works um, this is gonna be kind of hard to zoom in on so yeah all the other games will work just as fine as how this one works so um, all you have to do is in the description just download all of those and you might want to get an SD card and just transfer all of your games over to it 
um, I'll, I'll, you don't have to use a USB stick. What you could just do is get a USB, I mean a SD card, get a SD, SD card reader, plug the SD card reader into your computer, transfer all the files over to that, make it a bit more easier for you. Yeah, as you can see, like all the games work, everything works fine. Um, Twisted Metal and all those games, I'm pretty sure they'll work just as fine with no hiccups. So yeah, that's the video fellas. Um, if this was somewhat informative, entertaining, please like, comment, 